So we've seen recently that both Huawei and Google are looking to add air gestures to their new flagship devices. This is basically a way to control certain features on the device without actually touching it. You can move your fingers or move your hands and change certain things on the device. Although the technology used in the actual phones is very different. Google are using something called Solly, which is basically a miniature radar chip custom built to detect tiny movements in your hands. So when you do certain movements on your hands, it can be interpreted and change certain things on the device. It's a really tiny chip and it doesn't use any cameras. It uses radar, so it's very accurate and you don't have the normal problems you get with cameras, sensing things through glass, whether it's lit properly or not. And also that solid chip, because it is radar, can be fit on different devices such as smartwatches or pretty much anything Google wants to put it in. It just turns out that Google are first putting it in the Google Pixel 4. If your hands are within the beam, you can make certain gestures and then it will control your device. For example, you can turn virtual buttons, turn up volume, switch between tracks of a song, or pretty much anything that the software wants you to do. If we look at the Google Pixel 4's rumored front sensor setup, there are a ton of things on the front of this phone. So you have two face unlock infrared cameras, a normal front facing camera, a light or proximity sensor, obviously the speakers up there too. You have a dot projector and a flood illuminator for face unlocking and then you have that Solly radar chip. The iPhone also uses similar sensors for its 3D face unlocking and we know the Mate 30 Pro also has 3D face unlocking so uses a lot of the similar sensors as well. So how about Huawei? Does it use the same technology with its proposed gestures? No. From what we know, Huawei is keeping the notch on the new Mate 30 Pro, although it hasn't developed any miniature radar chips like Google has done. According to the latest rumors, the Huawei device will feature more things within that sensor bar or that bezel at the top. However, some videos did surface online showcasing some new features that Huawei might be implementing with the new P30 Pro and EMUI 10 when it launches next month. For example, you can use hand gestures to control music, you can clap or swipe, and you can change the volume, flick back and forth through songs, or possibly just swipe your whole hand over the device to turn off your alarm in the morning. I think that's a really cool feature. So this technology is very new, and new technology often has a lot of naysayers saying that it won't catch on or that it's not very useful. And in the case of swiping through menus or changing volumes, if you have to hold your phone up to be able to sense movements in your fingers, then is there really a difference between swiping like here or just pressing the phone and swiping? I don't think that would add a lot to the usage of a device. But I definitely think there are some really cool features. For example, just swiping over your phone to turn off your alarm is something that I think a lot of people would find really useful. We've all had that time where the phone is sitting on the desk and because of the camera bump, it's not even and you're trying to change through songs and it's wobbling about. So being able to just switch songs from above the phone, I think a lot of people will really like. Huawei isn't using the same technology as Google though. Whilst Google will be using radar in the Solly chip, Huawei is basically just going to take advantage of the cameras in the device. It will give similar functions, but radar will probably be more accurate and also doesn't have the problem of doing it in pitch black environments, whereas cameras might face some problems with that. And for the future of this technology, you can see it on a lot of other devices, for example, smart watches or TVs. So you can change settings on your TV without the remote, which is gonna be really useful. Although companies have had similar gestures before, Sony and Samsung have put these on devices before and they've never really taken off. The Galaxy Note 10 series just launched also has some new gestures, but you have to use the S Pen. You can change through some screens in certain apps and you can also change some of the camera settings. You can switch between lenses and take photos with the S Pen. That technology is very different because it just uses the S Pen linked up to the phone. And it remains to be seen whether those air gestures are really useful and people take them up. So hand gestures have been tried and sort of failed before, but there are definitely instances where Hand gestures will be an advantage. For example, if you're taking a selfie and the phone is really far away from you, you can just 
do a hand gesture to take the photo. You don't have to make sure that your thumb is going to be taking the photo. So hand gestures will be coming to phones this year, definitely in the Google Pixel 4. And from what we've seen on the videos, Huawei is trying it too and might be debuted in the Mate 30 Pro with EMUI 10. Let me know if you think they are just a gimmick and something to add onto the phone to try and get us to buy it, or whether you think hand gestures actually will make our lives and using phones easier. And will they become an integral part of the way we use devices in the future? I think it could, but I also think if people don't like using it, <laughs> then it won't. All right, that's it for now, but I'll see you in the next one.